Amber Garofalo. It's a wet fall day in Minnesota. During the pandemic, a lot of our clients put a whole new level of priority on the home. So whether you sold and bought or decided to renovate, my husband and I were no strangers. We jumped right on the bandwagon. With the power of low interest rates, we were able to make our home into the home of our dreams. So let's head over to my place. I'm gonna change first, but let's go check it out. Welcome to our home. So we're still under renovation, nearly there. One of the key features that I wanted as a result of the pandemic is separate offices. There was also all the modern touches. So I wanted our home to feel like it was brand new when this is all done because we love this area. We love our lot. We didn't really want to change our location. So this is Dave with my renovation team, Dave with Expand Inc. So Dave, what have you been seeing from consumers post pandemic in the renovation world? You know, I think one of the things that we have seen is actually an increase in demand for just about everything that we do. And people are spending a lot more time in their homes. They're working from home and they're spending more of their money on their home. And so really the demand is great for our time and for our resources. Plus the power of interest rates. So I'm guessing that's helped spike business for you as well as us in helping clients with renovation loans and helping to fuel that demand. There's a lot of work being done here and not everybody can just write a check for these projects out. So it's great that we can work together with you and with a financial institution to kind of work through these projects and make it happen. So Dave, tell us what the trends are. What are you seeing as like very popular in the design space right now? Yeah, one of the biggest trends is sort of a transitional or modern farmhouse look, right? White colors along with things like rustic timbers and wood floors and things that look more farmhouse. We have really cool wood floors here. Some of this wood could be 120 20 years old. If you look at these beams, these are eight by eight authentic wood timbers that were reclaimed and that really give it a lot of character and now we're placing it in this really cool setting. Yeah, definitely what I wanted to capture in our space is a lot of wood, a lot of white. So let's head over to Minoman and we can check out where these timbers and beams and wonderful floors come from. Thanks, Sarah, for having us in today. So I absolutely love the way that our floors turned out and the beams are gorgeous. So tell us about where you get the products from. Where do you source all of the wood? So our materials coming from old barns, factories, outbuildings, warehouses. They're carefully deconstructed and then shipped here. Then we start taking out the metal. We actually start the processing phase of taking out the metal, kiln drying it, heat treating it, and then running it through the various machines to make either paneling or flooring, box beam material, getting it ready for the client. So I know with our floors, it was like five different barns and things that were brought together to make our flooring. And, and I think that's so cool. So tell us more about the artistry. Well, I'm really proud of our talented team. We have a um, really great group of guys in the shop creating this product, whether it's defecting, picking the right boards, making sure it's the correct thickness. So there's a lot of sorting, a lot of work that goes behind it. I know the trades in general are struggling right now because there's just not enough people going into the trades. And so I really highly recommend that that people take a look at that. There's just an abundance of need right now for people to work in the trades. That was great getting to my home and checking out the progress with Dave from Expand, as well as joining Sarah at Minoman in their showroom. What a great array of products that they have based right here in Minnesota. So if you're looking at renovating a home, obviously you can see there's a lot that goes into it and we're here to help simplify that for you. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Financing the American Dream. We'll see you next time.